On this episode of How To XRGB Mini, we are going to take a look at how to use your FrameMeister to get an acceptable picture out of the Nintendo Entertainment System. Like many of you, I'm not skilled enough to perform an RGB mod on my NES, and at this time, I'm not going to shell out the money for something like the Analog Interactive NT. First, we'll need an original front-loading NES. This model has a composite video jack on the side, and that's what we'll be using for this video. Sadly, the sleek, top-loading NES generally doesn't support anything other than RF video without modification. I would also recommend getting a simple RCA Y splitter to split the mono audio output into both the left and right channels. Be warned, the NES outputs a horrendous composite video signal, with a very noisy picture I haven't experienced with any other video equipment ever. But with some tweaking, we can get the aspect ratio correct and the colors reasonably close. So with that, here are the settings that I use. Again, it's far from perfect, but these settings should give you a significantly better experience than the default settings. 